You know, some thought if Meyer was going to coach in the NFL, he would join the Cowboys. Well, year two of Mike McCarthy in the draft had a specific theme. Find anybody that can play defense for Dallas. Micah Parsons is the headliner, but the Cowboys opened up their draft with six straight defensive picks for the first time in the common draft era. Dallas spaced it out at each level, too. Two defensive linemen, two linebackers, and two defensive backs. Mel, what grade are you giving Jerry Jones's crew? I gave him a B, Kev. I like some of the players they drafted. I think when you look at it, you know, start out with Micah Parsons and then Jabril Cox. Those are two linebackers that make plays. And Kelvin Joseph, the corner, LSU then Kentucky was a guy I've liked all along through the draft process. But it could even be a late one early, too. They get him in round two. And then Chauncey Golson, real good leader, aggressive, tough football player for Kirk Ferentz uh, at Iowa. And then Simi Fajoko had a heck of a two years at Stanford. Big guy, ran well. They get him down the line further than you thought. So I think Dallas added some, some good players overall. Uh, and like I said, Parsons is one of those guys that they desperately need because Leighton Van Der Esch has had the injuries. And since he got hurt, that defense has not been the same. All right, your grade is a B for the Cowboys. Matt, what did you think of their draft? I did not like it. it I have to learn to be a nicer grader now, I think. I gave them a D, guys. I love Micah Parsons. Absolutely love him. I think he was the second best defender in the class behind Patrick Sertan. They got jumped for corners, though, as teams ahead of them. Carolina took a corner. Denver took a corner. It's not jumped necessarily, but teams right ahead of them took the corners. Felt like they didn't necessarily have a plan. Then in round two, they do get jumped for Trevon Merrick. In round three, I don't know where they saw these guys on their board. I thought they reached considerably for a Joseph Oso Digizua. For Chauncey Golston, Deshaun Wright, I had ranked 315th overall. They drafted him at 99. So maybe my board is way, way off. I glanced at everybody else's over the weekend. Mel, I didn't see anybody else having Deshaun Wright at 99 overall. So it felt like a big reach for me as they tried to find scheme fits. I'm with you on Wright, uh, uh, Matt. No question about it. That was, that was one of the reaches. But a lot of these teams have had a reach or two this year. And a year where it was very difficult to evaluate players and, and really get kind of information you need. I think mean, Golson may be around higher. How does Odigi Zua fit into that defensive front? Obviously need help on the defensive. I just like really the commitment, guys. The commitment to defense. Eight of the 11 picks. They went heavy defense. They needed to. We can debate a pick here or there. Uh, but overall, I think they, they really addressed the side of the ball they had to. Yeah, look, I think, look, Micah Parsons and Kelvin Joseph, these two guys, from a talent perspective, you can totally justify them getting picked where they are. Also, I think he's, look, you can debate whether or not a guy who gets picked in the third round should be picked where he was picked, given his lack of pass rush ability. But the first two picks are going to be under the spotlight for sure. And not because of their athletic ability, but because of their maturity level. There's going to be a lot put on those two to be playmakers right out the gate. Micah Parsons is going to have to be a guy who is a tone setter, who is an absolute playmaker, both in the run game and on third down, whether it be as a rusher or a dropper. And look, Kelvin Joseph, he has to prove that he can be a, a real lockdown type of corner to go along with Trayvon Diggs on the opposite side because they are going to go against teams in the NFC overall that are going to be able to put the ball up in the air and throw it and throw it for a lot of yardage. And look, right now, Dallas is one of those teams, again, their idea of success is not just being competitive. It's about being a Super Bowl contender. So those two guys in particular have to come through. I like the approach. I agree with the approach. In many respects, you know, I agree with the players, especially when you're talking about the first two picks, maybe the first three picks. But they better be able to withstand the spotlight they're going to they're be put under, and they better not wilt under the pressure because it's definitely on them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.